Mums and motherhood are being celebrated today in varied ways. While the majority of families marked Mother's Day with the traditional displays of affection, others use the occasion to demand more support for working mothers. Shrouda Silva reports. Street markets around town were busy today as sons and daughters rushed to snap up flowers for their mothers. Today is uh, Mother's Day, so uh, for some flowers for my mom. Yep. When do you plan to give them to her? Uh, now I'm just to uh, meet her. Hi. Hi. Happy Mother's Day. This is for my mom. That's my sister. We are making dinner for my mom. Hi, mom. I love you so much. And happy Mother's Day. And hope to spend more Mother's Day with you in the coming years. Thank you. <laughs> when are you going to give her the flowers? I'm actually going to go home soon after buying the flowers, so she'll be receiving them soon. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day! Happy Mother's Day! <laughs> and at a local hospital, new mothers were in for a treat. Every year on Mother's Day, the staff at Princess Margaret's Hospital bakes a cake for its new mothers. They say it is their way of showing care and concern for them on this special occasion. Among the 22 new mothers at the hospital's postnatal ward was Mrs. Ip, who last night was given the best gift she could have wished for, her firstborn son. The first time I saw him, I feel strange, and, but, but the feeling is so nice. Yeah. And ho holding the baby in my arms, I feel the feeling is, is wonderful. <laughs> But elsewhere, Mother's Day took a whole different meaning. In a march led by the Confederation of Trade Unions and the Hong Kong Federation of Education Workers, dozens of people, including working mothers and their children, walked from Cheta Garden to the central government offices in Tamar. Their demands include an extension of maternity leave time and more support for working mothers. They also want 15 years of free education for residents. And the mainland Hong Kong Families' Rights Association handed in a petition demanding that mainland women whose husbands are Hong Kong residents be granted the right to give birth in Hong Kong. João da Silva, TVB News.